Hello everyone, welcome back to Easy Knowledge. Today we will be learning some of the topics which are required for one to know for the lower secondary checkpoint examination. For those who do not study in the CIE curriculum, this video consists of some very important topics required for one to know before grade 9. This part will consist of the algebra topics which I will be telling you about in a while. So let's get started. The topics that we will be learning about today are the first two topics area and volume the next three will be covered in part two of this video and the rest will be covered in part three so now moving on to our first topic area before i start explaining the formulas of the shapes firstly i would like to recap what the word area will actually mean supposing this handkerchief is kept on the ground the area of this will equal to this part which is covered by the handkerchief. The area of a square is equal to length into length which can also be said length square. This is true because all the four sides of a square are equal hence the length is also equal and when the same number is multiplied by itself its result is the square hence the area of a square is a length square. For example if the length is equal to 4 the area will equal to 16 centimeters square since the double of 4 is 16. Moving on to the area of a rectangle, the formula is equal to width into length. In short, you can remember this as WL. For example, if the length is equal to 5 and the width is equal to 2, the area will equal to 2 into 5 which is equal to 10 centimeters square. The formula for the area of the triangle is half into base into height. So firstly you have to multiply the base and the perpendicular height of the triangle and then you basically have to divide the answer that you get by multiplying the base and the height. For example if the height is equal to 4 and the base is equal to 6 you simply have to do 6 into 4 which is equal to 24 and you have to divide 24 by 2 which will equal to 12 centimeter square. This is how you calculate the area of a triangle. Moving on to the area of a semicircle. To calculate the area of a semicircle you have to multiply pi into the square of the radius and then you have to divide it by 2. The radius is this part which is the uh, part by r this is the radius so you have to square the radius and multiply it by pi and then divide it by 2 the circumference of a circle is equal to pi into radius plus the diameter the diameter is equal to 2 multiplied by the radius for example if the radius is equal to 4 the diameter will equal to 8 since 2 into 4 is equal to 8. This is how you calculate the circumference and the area of a semicircle. To find out the area of a trapezium, you have to add length A to length B and then you have to multiply the total of both of the lengths by the height. After you get the answer, you have to divide the total by 2. For example, if length A is equal to 5, length b is equal to 2 and our height is equal to 4. Firstly, we will add 5 plus 2 which gives us 7. Then we will multiply 7 by 4 and then we will divide our answer by 2. 7 into 4 is equal to 28. 28 by 2 will give us the answer of 14 centimeter square. Moving on to the area of a parallelogram. The formula for the area of the parallelogram is base into the perpendicular height. Supposing the height is equal to 6 and the base is equal to 7, our area will equal to 42 cm square because 6 into 7 is equal to 42. To find out the area of the circle, you have to multiply pi by the radius square. In the previous slide, I told you what the word radius means. So, supposing the radius is equal to 4, we have to multiply pi by 4 square, 
which gives us the answer of 50.2. To find out the circumference of a circle, you have to multiply 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius. So, continuing with the radius of 4, we get the answer of 25 centimeters. The uh, circumference is always written in centimeters. You do not have to add any indices to it. And whenever you're calculating the area, you have to remember to add this unit square to it. Otherwise, your answer can be marked as wrong. Before I tell you any specific formulas to calculate the volume of certain prisms, I would like to give you one standard formula which can be used to calculate the volume of any prism. The formula is area of cross section multiplied by the length. In short, you can remember this as CSA into the length. Now what is a cross section? A cross section is when you cut a prism in a way that the shape in front of your eyes and the shape inside after you cut it is the same. I will give you a few examples to help you understand this better. In the triangular prism, the front shape is this triangle. If I cut it from the top in this manner, I will be getting a triangle inside showing me that my cross section is a triangle. So I will find out the area of this triangle and multiply it by this measurement, which is the length. Now in the cuboid, the front shape is this rectangle. If I cut it from here, it shows that my rectangle is the cross section. So I will have to find out the area of the rectangle and then multiply it by this measurement. Now, as you can see in a rectangle, all three of the measurements would be multiplied together so you can say the formula for the volume for cuboid is w h l which is width into length into height in the cylinder the front shape is a circle now if i cut it from the top as i have in the other prism i will be getting a circle as my cross section so i will have to calculate the area of this circle and then multiply it by this measurement to get my volume to help you get more familiar with this formula, I have two prisms here. We'll find out the volume of these two prisms by the formula C as A into the length. In the triangular prism, as we now know, the cross section is this triangle right here. As you can see, this measurement is 6 meters and both of the measurements are the same, meaning the base is also 6 meters. Now, as we know, to find out the area of the triangle, the formula is half into base into height, which in this case is half multiplied by 6, multiplied by 6, and the total of this multiplied by 9 meters, which is the length. So, here I have the calculation done. Half into 6 into 6 gives us the answer of 18, as 6 into 6 is 36. And 36 upon 2 gives us 18. Now 18 into 9 is equal to 162. Now the unit here will be meter cube. Now this is very important. The unit cube must always be there when you are writing the volume of any prism. If it is not there, your answer can be marked as wrong. So this is just a side note that you should take. Now in this compound shape, Right now, I will have to find out the cross section. This is the front shape. So the cross section will also be this shape only. To find out the area of it, these are two rectangles. So I will cut it from here. Now, as you can see, this top measurement is 2. And 10 minus 2 will give us 8. So this length is 8 centimeters. So we will have 8 multiplied by 2 which will give us 16 and here I have 6 multiplied by 2 which will give me 12. So hence I find the area of this and now I will have to multiply the answer by 4 which will give me a total of 112 centimeter square in this case.
Now I'll be telling you the formulas for specific prisms in the following slides. The formula for the volume of a cube is length into length into length. In short, you can remember this as length cube. Now, this is true because all the sides measure the same because a cube is made up of squares. So, the formula will be length cube. In the volume of a cuboid, the formula is length into width into height as I already told you. In short, you can remember this as LWH. And no matter which order you multiply these together, the answer will remain the same. Now for the volume of a triangular prism, the formula is half into base into height multiplied by the length. As you already know, the cross section is a triangle right here. So firstly, we have to find out the area of the triangle which is half into base into height. And then we have to multiply it by the length of the prism. In short, you can remember this as half BHL. This is easier to remember and shorter. To find out the volume of a trapezoidal prism, the formula is half multiplied by base 1 plus base 2 multiplied by the height multiplied by the length of the prism. The cross section of the trapezoidal prism, as you can see, is the trapezium, this one. So to find out the area of a trapezium, the formula is half into base 1 plus base 2 multiplied by the height. So this will help us get the area of the cross section and then we have to multiply it by the length of the prism. In short, you can remember this formula is half A plus B H L. To find out the volume of a cylinder, we have to first find the cross section. As we know, the cross section is this circle. So to find out the area of the circle, the formula is pi r square. And then we have to multiply it by the height of the prism. In short, you can remember this formula as pi r square h. Thank you everybody for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all in my next video.